17 years ago, the then 15-year-old Carlo Acudis died of leukemia. Born in 1991, the same year as the launch of the World Wide Web, Blessed Carlo Acutis has been hailed by Pope Francis as an example of love and holiness in our complex digital age. From a young age, Carlo Acutis's enthusiasm for Jesus was contagious. His witness brought his own family back to the faith. He called the Eucharist, my highway to heaven. Blessed Carlo Acutis is the first millennial to be beatified by the Catholic Church. In a special interview, his mother, Antonia Salzano, discusses his short life and eternal legacy with Monse Alvarado, president and COO at EWTN News. Carlo did the first Holy Communion when he was seven years old. And uh, in that occasion, he wrote, to be always united with God, this is my life program. And he started to go to Mass each day, to do Eucharistic Adoration each day, the daily prayer of the Rosary and also the Bible. For Carlo, the Bible was like a compass. You mentioned that he did his First Communion early. He also started teaching catechism at about 11 years old. Yes. What was that like? Uh, because he was uh, uh, probably was a little bit uh, uh, <laughs> a genius, <laughs> <Let's> go, <laughs> especially for computer, because when he was nine years old, he started to, to read and uh, to study the book we were buying in the engineer faculty of Milano. So he had this gift, this, this skill, but he didn't use because he wanted to become uh, rich uh, <laughs> doing app <laughs> or whatsoever. He wanted to use because he understood the importance of internet. That has a, pot a, a fantastic potential of evangelization. And the internet had just started at that time. And so he wanted really to, to be able, with the skills, to do things for the church. And one of the things he did was some exhibition that are going all over the world, especially the one on Eucharistic Miracles. Yes. What was his life growing up like? I know when we think about saints' lives, we think of perfect lives. Were there difficulties for him? Uh, basically, Carlo has a pure heart, so baby, he didn't have the difficulties with his class, uh, with, with his friend, because he, they respect him. He didn't have a, a critical behavior. Huh? Mm -hmm. He was very sweet, very, very humble, and so people all loved him, because really he didn't create situation of difficulties. Of course, the difficult life uh, that each one of us has to face, the studies, the difficult, uh, the normal difficulties, but Really, Carlo used to face this always with Christ in the center. Two years ago in an interview, you said that Carlo was your little savior. How did he affect your faith? Was there a moment where you didn't have faith? With the coming of Carlo, everything changed. Carlo was very advanced because three months, the first word, five months already was speaking. Mm -hmm. Four years, he was writing and reading. And he, I always say that he was running in front of time. He wanted to enter in the church when we, when we were walking, he was three years old, and he wanted to stay in front of the tabernacle, in front of the cross. Uh, why I say that he was my savior? Because through Carlo, I understood that really Jesus is present in the blessed sacrament and in the sacrament. Mm -hmm. That the sacrament are the means in we, through which the Holy Trinity give us grace. To Carlo, I understand that the Eucharist is really so important. And Carlo was the one who uh, made me understand this. And I said always that to understand that uh, in the Blessed Sacrament there is the real presence of God was the discovery of my life. Probably the most important discovery of my life. Well, we're so grateful for your time. Thank you so much, Mrs. Acutis. Thank you. Thank you.